Okay, this one's 974 pounds. I can't remember what size motor it was, but. Should be about 100 pounds of copper in there. I don't know, let's see. Okay, we're gonna pop apart this 974 pound electric motor. You wanna start with the pulley. I, I forgot when I started pulling those off, but we gotta start here. All you gotta do is take those three bolts out and put them in the other three holes and that will uh, pull the pulley off. So we'll start with that and we'll just keep updating as we go. Okay, that actually did go really easy. So it, I don't know if you can see it, but it pulled it back. This should fall off. Try to pull it off. Yeah, that's it. So that's how you get that part off. This will also slide off here. We'll have to hit that with a hammer though, but. And I did spray it down with uh, uh, penetrating oil the other day, so that helped. But all we're gonna do here is take all the bolts out, just start prying, we'll put a pry bar in here, pop these ends off, and we'll show you the end result. But it's just taking bolts out, nothing special. Okay, <clears throat> I forgot there's an Allen wrench. There's an Allen wrench in here. I got that out, and I was hitting it with the hammer and it was coming off, but then I just put that in there so she should fly off now. But also another safety reminder, when you hit that with a hammer, this thing can pop out, and holy cow, it about punched through my radiator over here. So, yeah, be careful with that. We got that off, pull those bolts, keep going. Okay, I got all the bolts out. We clipped those wires, unscrewed that. Uh, that shifts off. We're ready to just start hammering it open. I'll video that in case it looks cool and it pops open, but hopefully it pops open easy. And then all these are made, not all of them, this one's old, but a lot of these are made, this should slide out. But that's what these usually are for, I think, is a bolt or, or a stud in there. I don't see anything, so this kind of looks glued in there, so we might be in trouble, but we'll see what it looks like when we get it open. See this guy here? We did what I might do to this one. Is just take each individual plate and rip off slowly so you can get one of these out of there. Well, this stuff's solid copper. That would look super cool if we did it. I don't know. But you got to separate the, the metal from the copper anyway. You could cut this and pull the strips through, but I don't know. Maybe we will. We'll see. We'll check that out later. That's, that's a cool find. And then this here, I don't know how we're going to get this out. You, either you cut the casing or, like I said, a lot of them are made to, these bigger ones are made to come out, but this one is not. It looks to me like this bottom piece is welded together. This whole thing was, this thing was welded from here, it looks like. So that is gonna be a booger. All the newer ones are made to come apart. This one's not. But we'll see if we find out. That was fun. That thing's gonna be really cool. Yeah, I wonder if I zoom in there. Yeah, that sucker's copper right there. That's gonna be cool. Winning. Usually I set them up on something and drive the sledge on, on this, but if we could, we just need to get some walks, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Skid steer, probably, pick her up.
this. So, yeah, this thing's gonna be cool. It's all copper. I'll have to figure out how to get that out of there. We just we'll work it out somehow. But this one here, usually you take it out of the casing, take this casing off, and then you can cut. Cut right there nice and easy. We're not gonna be able to, I can tell that already. Be too much work to take that casing off, plasma or not. We're just gonna work those wires out. Um, it's a big enough motor, enough coating on the wires. Yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But it's a big wire in there, that's gonna be a good weight. We'll get that out, and this thing off somehow, and see what we can get it to look like. Because that looked pretty cool shined up, but we might just have to cut it and try to pull these out one by one, and we'll get a lump of copper. But I haven't seen one of these this big before, so we're gonna try to save it, clean it up, that look cool. Buying a bigger pulley puller. And all these fins, copper, which is awesome. I have no idea how to get them out though. Maybe we'll do some YouTube and see how other people do it, but I kind of want to save them. If this cage was intact, shined up, that would be beautiful. So we'll see. We'll have to cut. Looks like weld here. You know, I'm going to try to, this is welded on the shaft. You can see that. So yeah, odds are it's going to be super tough. The other thing we could do is cut the middle all the way around and then try to pull them out and I was thinking these are gonna be so tight it'll be super tough we'll have to take the cutoff blade and come in here and relieve pressure all the way around and that might actually work and then you'd have two pieces of copper look pretty cool maybe that's where I'm leaning right now but we'll, we'll figure it out this one here uh, you know, there's a lot of copper there it's pretty big stuff a lot of coating well, that's a lot of picking picking messing around we'll probably cut that one out and then pull it out. It's kind of messy, but it works really good. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna pull that bearing off while we got it up there for fun. Always a little trial and error. That's what we got. I don't know how to get it apart, but we'll, we'll work on it. I'm sure bent that fin there, but it'd be neat when we get it out, I think. Like I said, I'm leaning. I'm cutting that middle and pulling off the side, so I'll have to get bearing off that one. Might have to buy a big pulley puller anyway. But we're winning. Okay, after further review, it looks like if we 
cut this out, this little tab will come out, and this whole thing will slide to the other side. So we're gonna try to cut those tabs, get those little tabs out, cut that weld, that weld, we'll pull this tab out, and see if this whole thing slides through. It looks like that's how it's in there to me. Hoping. Make it a little easier. Hey, there went the weld. Now we should be able to push her out from the top here. <laughs> That's what's holding her in there. So we get two more out, and we're hoping. Yeah, it looks like it. this thing will slide, slide right out. Still got a lot of work after that. That'd be cool. Let's see how that turned out in the rest. Yeah, there's a pretty small chance that's going to work, but maybe we'll hit her tomorrow and get something better. I get her a little harder. We'll lay her down for safety tonight in case somebody comes in and drops it on their toe or something. Um, yeah, I'm guessing, a, I mean, a press would be ideal. I'll set up a ring setup so you could press it out. But, which I could do, I guess. But we'll see. I think it's gonna be cool to get it done though. Kind of off topic for scrapping for money. We'll see. Okay, this is a 50 horsepower motor. This is the 974 or whatever it was. So I'm just pulling off the insulation here. This is the fiberglass insulation. Uh, yeah, I cooked out the motor and that makes everything really loose. So we'll go in here with the DeWalt and we'll cut. You can see how loose they are. Then they slide right out. So, okay, this is uh, what it looks like. We use the DeWalt pruner to cut them, kind of peel them around. We'll go to the other side here and pull them through. We'll have to pull these kind of straight and then they should come through. Or I might do some cutting on the other side, whatever works. The longer ones might have to come out this way, shorter ones that way. We'll see. decided to take a saws off to it. We're almost through. We're gonna check it and try to pull them out. Okay, I couldn't get her apart the way we wanted to. We cut the middle and tried to get it out. But even hitting these out is hard. We cut that off, 12 and a half pounds. These are coming out okay. Once you get it going, it goes fine, but we'll do the other one the same way and weigh it up and see what we got. At least 30, 60, I'm gonna say 70. So, yeah, I don't know, at least eight pounds aside, maybe 10 pounds for each of those. So, 12 and a half, 25, 75, 45. Yeah, shoot, at least 45 pounds there. We'll see what we get. Okay, we'll take a break. And I'm uh, 
cleaning this up, Sawzall. Well, Sawzall here the same way and pull all these out somehow. I just took the balance stuff out of there. We'll chop her off and go from there. Sorry about the noise. It's my fans. It's really cold out. Negative again. so it stays, stays straight. Uh, we'll be pretty close when we get done. We're staying in the middle pretty good. Just a couple more here. Seventy-one when I picked them up earlier. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this ah, this way. Yeah, first one's really tough because it's still packed in there. See what we got. Yeah. Kilograms, dang it. Okay, yeah, 20 pounds, 10 pounds a side then. These are like 1.5 pounds of bucket, so. Yeah. And these statters, 2190. Heck yeah, 13 pounds. Woohoo, 12 pounds. Yeah. So that's, eh, 45 pounds was in that. Plus we had that. 72 from the winding, so that was awesome. Yeah, 100, over 110 pounds in that motor, counting this stuff, so that's good news. That's what I was hoping for. Sweet. Yeah, just a, I guess I didn't measure them, but, you know, that's a good four and a half inches, probably, inch, inch and a quarter, probably. At least an eighth inch, get an eighth inch thick. So 140 of those. I don't know if I'd save them for anything or not. I have a hard time not just selling my copper. So, and then these things are pretty cool. If I shine them up, they make a make a good crown for something, maybe I don't know. But probably just gonna sell them. 